Oh, what an exhausting test, huh? This was a long one. We're going to talk about marbles now. It says there are two bags of marbles. One bag has A times 3X minus Y marbles, and the other bag has 2B times 3X minus Y marbles. First thing I notice here is this 3X minus Y is common to both bags. Um, but it's kind, of, it's kind of weird. It still feels weird to some of you guys to say, well, there are this many marbles. Well, why don't you just give me a number? Um, we're throwing things at you that are abstract because when you're in physics and when you're in in uh, engineering and even in finance and some of these other things, you're taking concrete concepts like money or atoms or molecules or um other chunks of stuff, okay, uh, whether it be light waves or electromagnetic waves or things like that, and you're taking those things and creating abstract models with them. You're creating abstract mathematical formulas with these things. And so you need to be able to work within this abstract idea that one bag of marbles has this many marbles in it. It's just expressed as a function of A, X, and Y. And another bag of marbles has this many marbles in it. It's just expressed as a function of B and X and Y. So if I said, just for instance, that a bag of marbles had six marbles and another bag had five marbles, how many total marbles would there be? Well, you'd automatically say, oh, 11, because it's six plus five. Well, that's all we do here. It says find the total number of marbles in the bags in terms of A, B, X, and Y. Oh, well, if I want to type, find the total number of marbles in two different bags, I add them together. Oh, well, that means I have to do A times 3X minus Y plus 2B times 3X minus Y. There, I added the number of marbles in A to the number of marbles in B to get the total number of marbles in the bags. That's it. It's that simple, guys. Um, now, it says factor the result in A. Well, we've been factoring for a little bit now, and we recognize that 3x minus y is a common term. I can pull 3x minus y out of both of these terms and put it in front. And what's left is a plus 2b. If I multiply 3x minus y times a, I get a times 3x minus y. If I multiply 3x minus y times 2b, I get 2b times 3x minus y. So this is the factored result of these two. This is factored. Okay? Cool. Well, that was fun. Well, let's ask another question. All the marbles are arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangle. So we've got this rectangle. Oh, now it's a square. Now it's a rectangle. Actually, the rectangle and the square are the same thing. A square is a kind of, a kind of rectangle. Got, but I've got rows and columns of marbles. And it forms a rectangle. And it says if one side of the rectangle has A plus 2B marbles, how many marbles are on the other side? Oh, well, I know to find the area of all the marbles, I just do this side times this side. So the other side would simply be 3x minus y marbles. Wouldn't it? So just multiply, and, and the marbles on the other side are 3x minus y. And that's it. I'm done.